Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm quite excited this evening because for once I'm in my bathroom and I'm going to make some fantastic prints using this new Intrepid Enlarger that Intrepid have kindly sent me. Now at the moment it's only a prototype. Intrepid have sent me this to try out on the channel and see how I'd get on and give them any feedback. They're actually doing a Kickstarter to get this project off the ground and that's going to start in March. So if you want to know more about that, jump on their website. I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can jump on there and find out all about Intrepid's Kickstarter for this enlarger. But for now, they've sent it to me and I'm going to have a little play with it this evening in the bathroom. Why am I in the bathroom? Well, the idea of this is it's so small and compact and light and uh, also portable you can pretty much take it around and print in your office or somewhere in your home and put it all away again so that's why i've come in the bathroom um, you can see this is the enlarger here uh, it doesn't come with a stand so i'm using my tripod as you can see um, but you can use a copy stand or, a or your own tripod um, but all you get is the head you get a little tiny timer as well and i'll show you more about that in a moment and uh, you get some carriers as well, negative carriers. It does 35 mil, six by six, six by four, and six by seven. So this darkroom session is gonna be pretty basic. I'll show you around the enlarger, show you what you get with the kit, or at least what Intrepid have sent me for now. And um, I'll also show you the chemicals that I'm gonna be using. Ilford have kindly sent me uh, some Ilford multi-grade developer, which is for the paper. They've sent me some Ilford rapid fixer as well, which is obviously to fix the prints and they've sent me some stop bath and also some 10 by eight resin coated paper, which is what I'm gonna be using for this evening's session. It's got a fantastic little uh, timer and it's also got a safe light built into the timer, which is fantastic. So before I start making any prints, I'll give you a quick overview of the enlarger and the timer and what it does, what it's capable of, and then uh, I'll start making some prints. I'm pretty limited in room in the bathroom, so the video camera's um, it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. So let's have a look around the head unit itself. Don't forget this is a prototype. However, my first impressions were, although it was small, how well built it feels and looks. And also the bellows, as expected from Intrepid, are solid with plenty of focus range. The focusing is done via a jack screw, however, I found the original position which was sitting under the lens, and my hand was getting in the way of my focusing. But it didn't take me long to figure out that if I took the unit apart, took the guide rods out, and then flipped the unit around, I could have the focusing knob sitting at the top of the enlarger, which is what I did, and I found that much easier. The negative carriers are metal and slide in and out with ease, and they fit just underneath the light diffuser. The diffuser glass itself can easily be cleaned as the bellows are connected to it with a snap-on magnetic strip which comes off and snaps back in place with ease. The enlarger itself does not come with a stand so you will need to have a tripod or a copy stand to start printing. I did find however that the tripod legs do get in the way but not if you widen the legs apart but when you do that you're going to need more room in your workplace so it kind of defeats the object of being compact. Luckily, my tripod has an overhead extension bar that adapted quite well. I thought the design of the control box was fantastic. Intrepid have built contrast filters into their timer for use with multi-grade papers and with grades from zero all the way to five with half grade steps in between. I found this really simple to use when I was doing some split grade printing. There was no messing about with physical filters and it did the job well. The buttons looked confusing at first because there is no symbols to indicate their function. However, after an hour or so, I soon got used to the controls. Intrepid did send me some instructions. However, it would be nice to see some symbols on the panel on the final version. These two buttons are for your time control. The green button is to start your timer. This button is for turning the enlarger light on and off for focusing, and it stays on for 25 seconds unless you press it again to turn it off. The red button is to reset the timer. This is the mode function button where you can select black and white, color or scanning. And finally, you've got this button here which is for the red safe light.
that was great. I spent four hours in the bathroom and the only complaint I had was when I came out, I had a bad back and I dropped my phone in the bath. Uh, that wasn't great fun. But however, the enlarger, uh, performed really well and I've got my test strips here that you know you normally do in the dark room and uh, come out with some prints as well which I think you just saw in the video but I'll show you again this is a classic car show that I went to an old classic British car there and these are all done on this Ilford paper 1950s car there American car another American car there I don't know what that is is it a Pontiac or something Big old, uh, big old flash thing with big bench seats probably. There's a Ford Capri, good old classic British car there from the 80s. And uh, a couple of flowers as well that I printed off. These, this, uh, this one here particularly was medium format. So, um, but I quite enjoyed using the larger. And look how small and compact it is. That's the head, that's the, um, the timer and the controller. There's the plug and there's your um, negative carriers as well and Intrepid also sent me a little Intrepid zine which features photographs from some of the photographers that have used their large format cameras and they sent me a badge as well and before I had my shed as a dark room I used to use that bathroom all the time and inside I would have a, a Durst M375 uh, black and white enlarger with the baseboard the column and the head and it's quite big and cumbersome as well looking at this little tiny thing how fantastic is that i could just take it down then three little units and the carriers put in the box store away and when i want to go back in the bathroom again just pop those out uh, albeit just need a copy stand or a tripod so i think it's a fantastic idea and a decent design that intrepid have come up with pointers I've thrown uh, Intrepid's way so hopefully they'll pick up on them and uh, look out for their Kickstarter which is coming out in March like I said this is a prototype and I don't know what the design is going to be like when it does finally uh, get to production but and I don't know the price either but um, I'm looking forward to seeing how Intrepid do with this small and larger and also you guys as well that are looking to get into darkroom printing let us know if something like this is going to be convenient for you I'd love to know in the comments and uh, see what you have to say as well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video me featuring the Intrepid enlarger and the Orford stuff as well thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time